morning, everybody. It is, I think, Saturday morning. It's about... What do you say the temperature is? Five? Ten? Ten. Probably about ten degrees right now. And uh, <clears throat> Dan and I, we were at the uh, ceiling shiplap that delivered the other day. And uh, Dan and I were sampling some stain colors. And by sampling, I mean we picked one, we put it on the wood, we wiped it off. We said, yeah, that'll do. And then we started installing them. <laughs> so yesterday we hung, we were trying to only stain the boards we were hanging. And since it's so cold and there's no real heat in the house right yet, we're trying to... Uh, basically stain them and install them as we go and try not to stain more boards than we're going to hang. But uh, we got maybe three rows up yesterday just to see what it looked like. And it turned out pretty nice. We like the color. Should end up looking really pretty. But we're going to try and get started this morning. We got a late start yesterday. And um, <laughs> Mommy's bringing Coda's bed up for him. He's a spoiled dog, what can yeah. I say? Uh, yeah, we got a late start yesterday, uh, just having to grab some odds and ends. So we're going to try and uh, jump on things this morning and see how much we can get done. And uh, yeah, let's rock and roll, man. Did I ruin your shot? Nah, you never ruin a shot. Code on the other hand, is, looks like he's going to kill himself out there. All right. All right. I don't know if you can see behind me, but we got started on that side of the ceiling. And uh, happy so far. We're going to stain on this side. We'll get about maybe six boards ready on this side, and then we'll start popping some stuff up on the ceiling. So the other phone's charging. Hopefully we can set it up to get a little bit on tape and catch up with you guys in a little bit. Had a good day hanging boards on the ceiling in the great room. Um, it looks really nice. Excited for you guys to check it out. But uh, going to kick back, relax, and make up some burritos. That's what we do here in the cabin. It's about maybe 20 degrees, 25 degrees right now, which isn't bad. And see if we can take a look. Let's see behind me. Love the color, and I mean, love the look as well. 
but we're going to just keep rocking and rolling today. I think we can probably do about as much as you see there before the scaffold's going to get too short. I shouldn't say too short. The ladder is going to be really the shortest. I think the 10 foot extension ladder I'll roll up and down on, and then I'll just have Dana on the scaffold and uh, we'll see how high I can get with the ladder. The ceiling looks good, baby. I just put a ding in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have anything nice. <laughs> Ceiling looks nice. And FYI for anybody watching, I've got white knuckles gripping this. <laughs> I'm very, very proud of Dana. Doing it with a smile. Yeah, she is. She may not like it, but she's definitely not complaining. morning it's about maybe 15 degrees out and uh this is day three of putting up the shiplap ceiling the uh so far so good i'll take you inside i don't know how much we videoed yesterday the camera seems to shut off when it just sits there in the cold but uh i think we got up about maybe four rows yesterday so we'll walk in and kind of check it out before we get started today we're gonna have to shift some shift a few things around in the house today in order to kind of keep moving. Uh, you can kind of see behind me how far along we are. I think we have maybe 12 rows or so up and it's probably about 25 rows for each side. Um, but like I said, so far so good. Uh, we're just using a one by eight ship lap. Most of the boards are 16 and 14 foot long and just a little bit cutting off. So one seam, uh, you know, one butt joint essentially on each row. And uh, we're using, you know, just so you guys know, we're using a DeWalt electric now or um, a 20 volt finishing now or angled finish now or with two inch finishing nails. And it's working out really well. And then we're just using a uh, Loctite heavy duty adhesive on each of the trusses when we, before we put the board up. And then we're using an, a washer that's about eighth inch to give us the nickel gap between. And, uh, you know, for, for anybody else doing it, I suggest giving yourself the gap. You know, some people I think will, you know, may, may put the joints really close together. Certainly if that's what you're going for, then do that. But I think by doing the, uh, by giving yourself the nickel gap, you give yourself a little bit of flexibility when you're putting the boards up. Because as much as you would think that those 16 footers are, are you know, are just going to just boom, straight line and just do their thing, they're not. Um, and they're not very bowed, but the good thing is they're 16 feet long. So if I'm only cutting like six inches off the end in order to reach, you know, eight trusses, you know, I've got a little bit of flexibility to bend that board down and straighten out that nickel gap as long as I've got washers, you know, along the board. So uh, when I cut the board short, believe it or not, it's actually a nice, you know, straight, tight fit and, you know, everything works out really well. But it's been a little bit of work in each board on those longer boards. But like I said, so far, so good. We're going to keep rocking and rolling today, but we've got we've to move some stuff around. We're going to move the pipe on the other side and then move the boards to the other side of the room, slide the table back, give us a little room to work on the scaffold as we moved back. But I, I think I'm only gonna be able to get maybe about four more rows with Dana <clears throat> before we can't really reach on the 10 foot ladder. Uh, so at that point, I'll just move to doing them you know, on the scaffolding. So we'll see how that works out. I might have to put some clamps up there to hold the board while I move the scaffold down. And uh, Dana also has to take off for work for a couple days. So uh, I'll be back to building by myself. So it might be a little bit unique over the next uh, couple of days to try and put some of these longer boards high up on that cathedral, you know, without another person. So we'll see how we make out. But clean up today, resituate. Uh, I think we need to do a food run and then uh, we'll be back on. So stay tuned. We'll see what happens. So this is pretty much how we stained every board.
Ooh. It is bitter cold today. Wound up getting a few inches of snow yesterday. Or I should say last night. But it is just straight up cold this morning. So I was able to finish one side of the ceiling yesterday. I just have a little tiny gap at the top, that, that last ripped piece at the gable. And I'd like to do both of those at the same time. So once I work my way up the other side of the ceiling, I'll finish them both. <clears throat> but uh, I thought I'd take you guys up and just show you the one side. I still have to install the ceiling support box for the chimney stove pipe in order to shiplap the other ceiling. And it's been impossible to get the pipe. Everything else is ready. Yeah, the roof's all marked off. The framing for the support box is in. I just need the pipe. <laughs> so uh, it's a little bit of a maze in here right now. But there you go. That is the finished ceiling, or finished one side of the ceiling. I think it looks really nice. I'll just stand here and go back and forth for a while. <laughs> if this is your first time stopping by, welcome to the channel. For those of you guys who have been following along since the beginning, thank you guys so much. Uh, much more to come, or at least, if nothing else, the other half of a ceiling. So stick around and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.